Yeah, just after 6 this evening, officers brought 26-year-old Bernard Bell here to the Jefferson County Jail. Bell is being charged with tampering with evidence as well as felony of possession with a firearm after officers or police rather found or received information that Bell was trying to get rid of the gun that killed 37-year-old Anthony Wilson. No, 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 no. I see I can talk because they asked me. Hold on. Hey, hey listen. Hey, the fourth and final suspect in connection to the Anthony Wilson murder is in custody. Police believe 26-year-old Bernard Bell tried to get rid of the weapon that was used to shoot Wilson. Yes, for uh, for disposing of a uh, weapon that was used in the crime. So, And also, he was a uh, convicted felon, so he's also being charged with uh, felon in possession of a firearm. Before Bell was taken to the Jefferson County Jail, he told reporters he had nothing to do with the case. Down the street, they twisted my words and tried to put it to some people in that same community where this man died and they know me, man. I ain't got nothing to do with that, man. They ain't tampered with nothing. I ain't touched nothing. Three other suspects have been arrested. 18-year-old John Cook, 17-year-old Jamarius Gardner, and a 15-year-old boy. The arrests made all stem from a shooting that took place late Thursday night on Madrid Street in West Beaumont. Police say the three teenagers were prowling the neighborhood before confronting Wilson, shooting him, and then taking his truck. Captain Schultz with the Beaumont Police Department says he does appreciate the community's response in helping with the investigation. Uh, great effort by the uh, community. We got a lot of information on, the, on this particular uh, crime, uh, a lot of video, so uh, it's, uh, it's been very helpful. Police do not believe Bell was on scene Thursday night when Wilson was killed. Cook and Gardner are being held on bond on a on million dollar. Cook and Gardner rather are being held on one million dollar bonds. There will be a press conference tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. at the Beaumont Police Station. Live in Beaumont, Tyler Segerman, 12 News.